This is the news summary on Geo.TV. I'm Mohsin Abbas. Counsel for the Prime Minister, Barrister Etazaz Essen, says that Prime Minister Gilani never said he won't follow court orders. However, the Supreme Court's order to write the letter to Swiss authorities could not be implemented while Asif Ali Zardari was holding the office of the President. The Supreme Court has adjourned the hearing of the Prime Minister's contempt of court case till Thursday. Prime Minister Gilani says the reshuffling of the Cabinet is a routine matter. However, his resignation was not. The Prime Minister adds that the matter pertaining to writing the letter to Swiss authorities would be decided by the court, and it was not his job to ask for immunity for the President. Foreign Minister Hina Rabbani Kar says the status of most favoured nation would be granted to India by December 2012, after trade ties normalised with New Delhi. Kar, who was speaking with Hamid Mir, also said the Foreign Office was looking into the resumption of cricketing ties between Pakistan and India. Former Ambassador Hussein Haqqani has admitted to having a conversation with Mansoor Ajaz in May 2011, but stresses that the discussions during the conversation were different from how Ajaz described them. He said this in a reply submitted to the Memo Commission in which he further denied allegations levelled against him by Mansoor Ajaz. US Ambassador to Pakistan Cameron Munter says the attack on the Salala check post was unintentional and unfortunate. Munter adds that such attacks should not happen in the future and Pak-U.S. relations should be based on mutual interest. In a fresh attack on the Jung Group, unknown men kidnapped a Jung press driver along with the circulation truck and set thousands of the news and Jung newspapers on fire early Wednesday morning. Truck driver Sardar says unidentified men on motorcycles stopped the Jung press circulation truck at Empty Han Road and took him to Hijrat Colony, taking along with them thousands of newspapers that were later found burned near the passport office.